In this video, we are gonna be talking all about how you can get your first 1,000 email subscribers, so stay tuned. This is the She Needs Business Show, where we show you how to turn your ideas into reality and become a wildly successful entrepreneur. Carrie Green, She Means Business. Hey, it's Carrie here, founder of the Female Entrepreneur Association and author of She Means Business. And I'm so excited for this video because it's all about how you can get your first 1000 email subscribers. Something that every single one of us can do and then we can go way beyond that. So in another video, I shared with you some ideas of what you can create to get people to sign up to your email list. If you haven't watched that video yet, then definitely go and check it out. The link is below. So yeah, go and check that video out. It's gonna be really helpful if you're stuck on ideas of how to actually get people to sign up for your email list but in this video I'm going to share with you once you've created your freebie the thing you want to get people to sign up for how you can actually get it out there how you can actually start to get people to sign up for it in a big way so the first really big way you can get people to sign up for your freebie is by using Facebook ads Facebook ads are so powerful when it comes to list building it has been one of the biggest ways that I have built my email list and you might be like oh Facebook ads, but I don't want to pay for it. But seriously, you can really scale your business fast. It can really help you to get to a thousand subscribers fast. And the best part is, is that it doesn't have to cost a fortune if you do it right. If you do it right, you can definitely get your leads down so that you're getting subscribers for a dollar, even less than a dollar. I have run some ads where I get people signed up for 30 cents. It's crazy. 30 cents for an email. So then once they're on your email list, you can then build a relationship with them and you can offer them the services, products, um, digital products that you have available for them and turn them into customers. So it is worth doing. I always think sometimes you have to pay to play and um, Facebook ads is an amazing way to scale. So think about the freebies that you offer and think about the kind of ads that you could create to get people to sign up. As a little tip, I find that the more simple the ad, the better it converts for me. So you wanna create an incredible, beautiful graphic that's gonna really align and resonate with your audience and your brand. And then just keep the description really, really short. I'm gonna give you an example of one of my ads which converts the best so you can see exactly how I do it. And I'll also send you, I'll leave the link to the signup page so then you can see how I, what I write on the signup page because this opt-in converts so well. So you can go and check it all out and take inspiration from it for your own Facebook ad. So the second way you can get people to sign up for your freebie is to create content around them. So for example, whenever I am doing a free video series and getting people to sign up for my video series, I will always create a blog post to tell people about the video series, the transformation they're gonna get when they sign up to the video series. And I'll send an email to my existing list and I'll put out Facebook ads and I'll put out posts on social media to drive people to that blog post. And then on that blog post, post, I'll say, click here to join us for this video series because it's going to be amazing. Um, you could do it that way, or you could even create a video to let people know about the freebie that you have. So for example, if you've put together an amazing checklist or you've put together, I don't know, a daily planner that's going to be so helpful for your audience, then you could create a video to tell them why it's going to be amazing, why they absolutely need to download it, tell them the transformation they are going to get when they download and take action on what it is that you you've created. So create content around your freebie and drive people to that content and then get them to sign up. It kind of helps to warm them up a little bit and then get them even more excited for what you've created. So the third thing that I have to share with you to get people to sign up for your freebies is to leverage your website like crazy. So you want to be placing your calls to action to get people to sign up for your freebies all over your website. So Make sure you have something in the sidebar which lets people know about the freebie that you've created. Make sure you create banners and calls to action at the top of your website so that people go to your website, they see that you have that there. So if it's a guide that you've created, tell them about the guide and give them the call to action to sign up for it. You can also um, have pop-ups on your website. They work so well and if you're not using pop-ups you are missing a trick. So make sure you use pop-ups. You can use really simple apps like Pop-Up Alley or Sumo Me. I'll leave the links below so you can check them all out. Um, but you can create a really cute little pop-up which tells them about the freebie that you have to offer them. Um, and the pop-ups are really good because you can change them out 
really easily. So if you've got multiple free freebies for people, one week you could have one freebie being advertised, another week you could offer something else. Um, they're just amazing, so, so good. Um, another thing you can do is you can have um, a little box that pops up when people scroll down your website, it pops up at the bottom right-hand corner. And that again, it can tell them all about the freebie that you have to offer. So um, once they are already engrossed in the content of your website, that will then pop up for them. Um, and finally, you can also add your offer to the end of your blog post. So once someone's read your blog post, you could add an image or a call to action to let them know about the freebie that you've created. Um, these are all really powerful things you can do to leverage your website to make sure that if someone's coming to your website, they are not going to be leaving without signing up for the freebies that you have created. You need to convert that traffic into subscribers. So just make the most of your website and place those calls to action in various places. So the fourth and final thing I want to share with you about how to get people to actually sign up for your freebies is to think about leveraging Facebook groups. Facebook groups are so powerful because you can build an amazing community of like-minded people who are interested in the message that you have to share and the things that you have to offer. So if you've started to build a Facebook group, then use it and let them know about the free stuff that you're creating that they would love to get their hands on. So whenever I've got a free um, freebie out, I go into my free um, Facebook Facebook group and I tell them all about it, but don't tell them in a kind of like a salesy way. Tell them in a way that you're so excited about it and you've got this amazing thing that you've worked really hard on that you know is going to help them. What you can also do is get them excited before it's even ready. So for example, if you know that you are going to create a free challenge in, I don't know, say April, then before April and March, start getting them excited. I've got something really excited coming that I've been working on. I cannot wait to share it with you. You could even maybe share a little behind the scenes. So if you've got like a workbook you've created, take a screenshot of it, put a really pretty pitch together and be like, oh, so excited to share this with you. This is coming soon. I'm working on it. You're going to absolutely love it. So warm, those are your, your, that's your community. So excite them, warm them up to what they, what you have coming. And then when you've created the freebie, you can put it out there and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for ages. I can't wait to get um, to sign up for it and to use it. So use your community effectively when it comes to the free stuff you're creating to get them to sign up for what you have going on. And then also, because they are part of your community, you could say, if you have any friends that you feel would absolutely love this and would find this really valuable, share it with them. Because the more people you kind of do this stuff with, the more you're gonna get out of it. I say that especially when I'm doing a challenge because it's always better to do a challenge with other people. So I'm always encouraging people to share it with their friends, get your friends involved, do this together, do it in a group, You know, get together, go through this stuff. Even if it's a workbook, people can do it in groups and it's way more powerful. So encourage sharing, but def definitely leverage your Facebook group if you have one. If you're part of other Facebook groups where the people inside of that Facebook group are your target audience, you could consider it sharing it, your offer in there, but you need to make sure that you abide by the rules of that group. Um, so maybe they have a specific post that goes out where it's like share your offer because that's what we do in our groups. So look out for opportunities like that too. But basically you just want to spread the word about what it is you're creating. Tell your audience about it. Shout over on the rooftops, but again, not in, in a salesy, spammy way, but in a way that because you're so excited about it and you want them to get excited about it too, because you know what you've created is going to give them so much value. So those are four simple things you can do to get your freebie out there. So go and do it. Get your freebie out there. Don't be one of those people that creates a freebie and then doesn't do anything with it. You don't put it out there. You barely tell people on your website about it. You barely tell people on social media about it. Don't be that person. <laughs> so easy to fall into that trap. So go and take action on these ideas I've shared with you. Your website is gonna be one of the best ways to get people to sign up. And talking about that, um, I'm also gonna give you access to a training that we have inside of the Members Club. So it's actually a paid training, but I'm gonna give you access to it for free, where Brian Harris teaches all about how you can create an upside down um, homepage in order to build your email list. So the link below to download that is below. So check it out and take action on it. It's such a powerful way, again, to actually get people to sign up to your email list. So don't miss that. It's basically a paid training, but you're getting it for free. So it's very exciting. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Go out there, build your email list, and I will see you next week for another episode of She Means Business. 
Hey guys, if you like this video, then definitely leave a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Also, I would love you to leave a comment below and let me know if you are doing any of these things that I've shared in this video and let us know how it's working for you and if you have any questions whatsoever. And I will see you in the next video.